Alright, so what I'm going to do is core ball sandwich. Um, I It's mainly just like a core upper body workout. I've taken a little bit of creatine, so I want to burn that out and, and take advantage of that. And then um, I want to really get in some, get my heart rate up. So I'm going to try to push it as hard as I possibly can. I mean, I'm really going to up my numbers to get as much calorie burn on as I can since I'm limited to what cardio I can do. And then maybe if I still feel like I need it, I'll do the uh, punching bag and do some intervals with that and uh, do some stuff from the uh, Kempo workout. But uh, for those of you that don't realize this, working out is as much for up here as it is anything. So my mental, my, your mind and your endorphins and all the stuff that you get, that runner's high for all you runners out there, it's the same with working out. It's just, it's, it, it kind of gets your blood pumping and gets your cobwebs out and just gets you focused and realigned. And that's what I am going to do right now. <laughs> Over the See my bad ankle, so I gotta be careful. All right, hips up. Four engages. Bad. This is not a good idea. Ten there. What I love about this you workout ground, right? is that it go. is. Um, really push yourself. You can burn some calories and you can work your upper body and get some core workout in without necessarily having to that's do a lot of cardio, tricky. which in my case tricky? is what I need you know, because my ankle is just not 100%. How many of these did you do the other day, Steve? 35. What a jerk. <sighs> 15 to 18, somewhere in that range. This particular move, stability ball plank crunch. I should be able to do this with my ankle. But it, it, these are all moves, new workouts, things that you can incorporate to do when you can't do other stuff. And also, when you can do other stuff, you just want to do something different. So, how am I doing, Steve? Thanks, bro. I'm going to try for 15 of these, okay? Go away! Here it comes. Don't hurt me. Stop it. Heart rate's up. So this is big ball crunch. I'm going to add a medicine ball to this to kind of make it a little bit harder. Just to kind of get some more heart rate out of it. So I'm going to add... I'm going to add this to what he's not doing. Move my position, mate. All right. Oh, you're good. Get your butt over there, punk. Here I come. Now, I like these bars low, and I got the floor here in the way, so we make do, right? Three, two, one. I'm going to break it down into three groups of four. How many are we going for? Twelve, maybe? Six. Nice core action. How many go for twelve? This is something I got to be careful with as I walk back because my ankle's not 100%. So I have to kind of go a little bit slower than I normally would. But if you think the heart rate is not up during this workout, you're crazy. So that's most of the workout. I'm not going to show you everything because I want you to get the workouts if you want to do it. I just wanted to show you that most people when sick like this and having a sprained ankle or injury would we'll just take a week off and forget about it. I know a lot of people fuss at me for going too hard all the time, but I'm sorry. I got to do it because I know what it's like to not work out. And I know what it's like to get in that fitness funk. And I'm already feeling better. I can tell a huge difference just, just in the last 20 minutes that I've been working out. And you can feel that too. So don't give up. Call me, contact me if you guys need any help. If you want any coaching, here to help you guys. See you next time.